Keen, your source for news about you. Hi, welcome to Kids World 13, Birmingham's only news show forward about kids in Alabama like you and me. I'm Mary Ann Seifert. And I'm Cheryl Crowder. On today's show, we have reports for you on subjects ranging from a cheerleading team in Tennessee to a group of kids who have become very adept at a rather unusual sport, roller limbo. Our first story today was suggested by one of our viewers from Pell City, Tracy Reed. She wrote to tell us about a group of cloggers called the Bama Ramblers. Jane and Don Arnett are the choreographers and managers of the group of 12 kids who have performed all around Alabama and the South. We met the cloggers at the home of Mr. and Mrs. Williams, where they gave a performance just for Kids World 13. Katherine Williams reports. We originally be, uh, began in July of 1979. My husband and I were part of an adult clogging group in Pell City, and some of the mothers, and myself included, decided we'd like to have our kids to clog along with us. And we started originally with five children, and we've evolved since then many times over. Man, how long does it take to become proficient in clogging? Well, about after your first competition, you really feel comfortable with clogging. This is like nine months. Then, Matt, what type of music can you clog to? Anything that's got a fast beat, like Clog Long Stacy or Rocky Top or Devil Went Down to Georgia, and even Pac-Man Fever. Stacy, where have you performed? Um, we've performed in Stone Mountain, Georgia, and Decatur, Alabama, and Fultondale, and um, we've been at Auburn, Alabama, and DeSoto Caverns, and Childersburg, and we'll be performing at the World's Fair this September. Jackie, do you enter competitions? Yes, we do, and we place, we place second and third at Stone Mountain, Georgia, and we've placed third at Fultondale, and we placed at Decatur, Alabama. How many teams do you usually compete against? We compete on an average from 10 to 13 groups. Michael, what was your favorite performance? DeSoto Caverns. Are there different types of clogging? Yes, there are many different types. We had the unfortunate um, advantage or disadvantage of finding out 
at a competition one time. We learned of many different types of clogging that were very close to the floor. We don't do that type clogging. We tend to pick up our feet and really have a lot of fun with it. There's also a type of clogging called smooth clogging that they do with no taps, and it's, it's really quite beautiful, but I don't think this group would ever do such. I think we'll stay as we are. What are the basic steps in clogging? The basic steps would be a double step, and then we add what's called a rock step to that, making a double step rock step, and that's our basic traveling step in clogging. From that, you can add kicks, slides, drags, an assortment <laughs> of different steps. Other than learning to clog, how do kids benefit from this group? As a teacher, I'm educationally oriented. We have a lot of fun with the group. I personally feel that this group has met people that they would never have an opportunity to meet, places they would never maybe otherwise have had an opportunity to go. And this is not me. Uh, I'm not patting myself on the back that they're going. We've had many different invitations by persons, and they're really special people to us who've invited us places, and we've, we've been with ex-governors and perhaps future governors, and uh, being at the World's Fair I think will be a highlight. We'll get to meet people that from, they're from all over the world, and to me that's an educational experience that I feel I'm glad that I'm a part of it to broaden their horizons. Danielle, how many routines do the Bama Ramblers do? Well, we do three routines and a variety of line dances. Cynthia, what's the hardest step to learn? Uh, the Brenda, which is a six-foot step.